it was time to get rid of the small ones. And what I'm talking about, toolboxes. We got a new lethal present. Let's get her unboxed. What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today, well, we got something new for the garage. It's been a while since I got myself something new for the garage. And uh, it's been a while since we made things a little easier to get to, and one thing I've been sore, sorely lacking in the garage was kind of a, a work table of sorts. I've always had to pull out a card table or something, so not only did I get a bigger toolbox, but I got one with a stainless steel top that I can work on and lay stuff out on, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So let's open this bad boy up. I'll show you the color that I got, and uh, yeah, this thing's got some cool features that I think will be beneficial. So let's get to it. So first and foremost, this thing comes pretty dang great. I already started to open it up, but I'm like, wait, gotta get the camera. Um, but basically, we have to unpackage it. They say to unpackage it and inspect it before the driver leaves. Yeah, I didn't sign anything and he left. So uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. He, he's like, yeah, I'm out. I didn't sign for it. So I guess there's something wrong with it. We can call him up and be like, yeah, he just left. So, but let's get this opened up and uh, see how she looks. Thanks, Lethal Wife. Whew. Okay, so I don't think the camera was rolling while I was pushing it off of the crate. Um, what I did is I pulled out the drawers and I was actually, I was gonna attempt to roll it this way and that didn't work so well. So I ended up rolling it that way onto the back right here. And then I pivoted and I rolled it straight back on in. This thing's heavy. It's very heavy. I think the shipping weight was like 1,366 pounds. But as far as looks wise, it matches black and white. The drawers are really nice. The slide action is good. They come with padding for every drawer. It's weird they put all the padding in one drawer for one size and I guess they, they give you the satisfaction of putting it in. So this, as you saw, I didn't latch. Kind of had to push, but have to make sure it latches. But outside of that, it looks pretty good. Now, supposedly, most of these the drawers with two rails, like this top one, will support 500 pounds. So I'm gonna have all my kids come out and stand in this. Like technically, I can climb in it, but I would be afraid my weight would cause it to tip over. Maybe. Do you want to climb in, honey, and I'll hold you? You're not even a hundred pounds, so. Ooh. Oh, a hundred and five. Oh, the whole world knows your weight now, honey. Still tiny and petite. Love it. After four kids. I'm a lucky man. Anyways, we still have to peel. This will be a satisfying peel. What do you get? Oh, oh that looks so good. Do you want to do it, babe? Well, it's yours. You want Should me we to do it together? <laughs> Should we do it? Hey, let's do it together. Aww. We get to unwrap your toolbox together. It's our <laughs> toolbox. Yeah. Dude. I'm gonna store my measuring tape. Look at that. It's gonna get scratched to high heck. But that thing is awesome. I like the chrome. It kind of goes with the wheels. It's like, you know. I know that's not stainless steel, but you know, black, white, shiny, shiny. We'll go shiny. And I believe these are the handles that I didn't put on. So there's a handle that goes on this side and a handle that goes on that side. But luckily it rolls out pretty easily. I mean, look how heavy duty the casters are. These things are monsters. It's got four wheel locks. So I locked the back ones. I haven't locked the front ones yet, but I'll do that. 
This thing's looking pretty good though. There's some sort of foam layer. I have to read the instructions. Maybe I'm supposed to take the, the top off and pull out this foam underneath, but there seems to be a foam layer underneath the stainless, but I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> Keeps it from scratching the powder coat on the paint. It's just some. Yeah, it does. We'll have, to, we'll have to read instructions to see what it says about that, but yeah, outside of that, it's looking pretty good. So let me situate some things, get some tools in this box, and we'll do some testing. Come on, baby, you can be the first one. It can hold at least 100 pounds. It's too, that, well, this one, it, don't fall. <laughs> I'm holding your hand, I promise. <laughs> I'm ruining your little. It's okay, here. Here, let's hop you down. Yeah, we don't want to ruin this pad. At least it's self-healing. Yeah, we'll come back. It is what it is. The kids will have a kick out of this. We'll do them next. <laughs> Maybe we could do them and you all in one drawer. A 250 pound drawer. You're 100. How much is Kyle? 70. So let's say that's 180. Because you said you're 105, right? Zach's like 45. So that's 220. Luke, eh, it will be over 250 with Luke and Ryan. It'll be like 280. Maybe we'll put the drawer to its test. I didn't want to hurt my children. We'll do the 500 pound drawer. <laughs> so in that box was these fancy handles. See how they look. So my kids are in the midst of karate and stuff, so I can't get them out here right now to do the drawer testing. But we'll get that in a little bit. Wow, that's a nice handle. It's like it's like a rubberized texture. Feels really nice. For how much this toolbox was, it better be nice. That looks good. Maybe I should have put these on before rolling it in the garage. <laughs> oh well. It's on there. Looks pretty. I like it. You know, the reason why I like these a lot is you can hang your big spray bottles on them. Like these. So like, yeah, hey, there's my detail cleaner. Just line them up. Easy access. Save some shelf space in the lethal detail cabinet. So we got most of the drawers all lined up, got stuff inside of them. Um, I got all my boys in here and we're gonna do a drawer weight test. I guess I could get in a drawer in one of the 500 pound drawers, but I don't know, seems better, more fun, involve all the kids, right? Right, bud? Yeah. We did get a, check it out, we got an Amsoil shelf rack. I got two of those coming. So one here, one's coming. Clean up the garage a little bit. So the other one will hold all that. Awesome. But uh, mom went to go get the step stool so the kids can get on the shelf easy because I made a fairly higher one, uh, the empty one currently. Okay, I'm gonna hold the drawer so it's not gonna move. Okay, come on this side. Okay, now you guys stand so all your brothers can fit. Okay, come over here, Zach. No, come over here so we can evenly distribute the weight. Cause Kyle, don't hit on me. You can hold on to my shoulder. Okay, Ryan, hold on. Don't, don't lean on me, you're fine. Here, if you want, you can sit on the top. Just sit right there on your booty and wait for Kyle to get on. I don't want to get on it, it's just gonna go. It's not, hey, it's rated for 250 pounds. If it does, we could yell at him. Yeah. I'm putting my kids in danger yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm holding the oh, drawer right now. No, guys, we'll yeah. see. We don't have it all the way pulled out yet. No, don't Go stand for it. On okay. It. Now, everyone, stand on it. Uh, now, scoot don't... over. You're going to make <laughs> Ryan fall off. Come on. Come over here, Zach. You need to make room. <laughs> You're fine. This drawer's plenty strong for you. <laughs> scoot over. Feet. Feet. Okay, right, everyone is standing. <laughs> I am not touching the drawer. We're, no, Ryan, know. we're not jumping on the drawer. Yeah, I'll add 30 more pounds. What's going on, big itself? 
There you go. It works. Now that we know the drawers can hold 235 pounds, they're rated at 250 for the single hinges and 500 pounds for the double hinge. You can see the doubles. And uh, overall, the, I mean, the slide's pretty good. I would say I have over 200 pounds of tools in here. I mean, geez, these wrenches alone weigh like nine, 10 pounds. So nice and full, got plenty of room. I don't know how I'm gonna organize this. I really don't. It's one of those things that's just, it's, it's like you got a new toolbox. How do you line everything? It's like everything feels so empty. <laughs> but yeah, it is empty. But I mean, uh, you know, if there's any one thing I would highlight, I wish they would give me, instead of two small drawers here, maybe the option for another deep drawer. And this is just me being probably picky, but you know, some of these, these hammers are too thick for these thin drawers. And I could technically put them over to the sides because I mean, all of these, well, <laughs> the one I open isn't empty, but all these are currently empty except for the tape drawer I mean there's so much storage so much let me give you an idea of Milwaukee impacts and whatnot all my small drills and I mean there's just there's still so much room it's crazy so it's a cool toolbox it's huge it's uh, what 84 inches long 30 inches deep and I think 40 some odd inches tall. Now I'm six foot five, so the height is good for me, but if you're short, you might not like the height. The casters are ginormous. Four wheel locks, six total casters all in. The handles, really high quality. The stainless top, I really like it. I really like the way this looks, but I mean, it's gonna get fingerprints, handprints. You can already see smudges all over. So I'll be wiping this down quite a bit, but there you have it. I got it all cleaned up. Even redid some of the decorations on the wall, moved the stuff from over there to over here. And this will be our uh, our new background for a little bit. So I don't know what else I'll change. I mean, that's a door there, so there's not much I could do with that. I don't want to really put stuff on it, but <sighs> this will be the new Lethal Garage angle for videos to come. And I'm really happy with this tool vault. It's It's nice. It holds a ton of stuff. I love that I have a work surface to work on now, especially for the small things. I'll probably get some more like larger pads for the top just because I'd hate to scratch this, but I mean, this finish is so cool. I love this little diamond tip finish. But uh, fingerprints and grease marks came right off. Just wiped it down with actually bead maker of all things. And uh, yeah, two volt. Still have to clean up the garage quite a bit. These are all the boxes for the stuff that showed up today, but I think it's looking, it's looking really good. Now to dust all the stuff up here, but there you have it, Tool Vault Toolbox. Um, I mean, it's not really a full review on the product because that really wasn't the intent of this video. It was just more, hey, Lethal Garage has got an upgrade. Also, we just hit 61,000 subscribers. That is crazy to me. I mean, to think that it all actually started off on a wall over there that the fender's hanging on. Um, if you guys remember that, and I'm sorry, I'm hot and sweaty, so forgive me, but uh, it's crazy. The Lethal Garage has definitely changed. I can't wait to get the 71 back here. It's not that far away. Just as a little sneak peek or information, the car could see the paint booth in little as a week or two weeks away from now. So we've, or I shouldn't say we, well, my wife and I, we have changed the color choice of the car. So we were pretty dead set on a color. I'm not gonna reveal it here, but new color has been changed for the car just before it heads to paint. And I'm just getting the final tidbits of pieces all done. So stay tuned for a final walk around video on the 71. Obviously we have the methanol going in on the lethal Camaro. I had planned to already have it in by now, but the 71 has progressed so much. I had to put a hold on some stuff again, and I apologize, but we do have stuff coming, and now that the state and everything's starting to open back up, we hope to get out racing again. So that's gonna be happening real soon. <sighs> yeah. So, 
lot still to do, but I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Thank you very much for subscribing and being a part of the channel. 61,000 is not a small number. Again, I'm not a vlogger per se, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content we've been creating over the last four years now. Uh, over, I think we're coming up on a thousand total videos created. That's insanity. So either way, that's all I got. Until next time, guys, see you on the road.